hello guys welcome once again from this video tutorial we will see how to handle a file in a c programming so whenever we talk about the file handling the first question that comes in mind is to what is the file so the file is basically a collection of the information and we can simply say that the file is a virtual container which stores the information now till now we have used a variables to store the information but a variable has one disadvantage whenever we close the program the value or data which is stored in the variable get vanished so to overcome this disadvantage we can use a files in a c programming so whenever we talk about a accessing a file the first question or first thing that we have to do is to open that file and to open that file we have to use a function called as a f open and inside the brackets we have to specify a file name that we want to open and after that we have to specify a mode so here with the help of mode we can tell the compiler that what we want to do with the file here now we will see the different modes so the first mode is r so this r means read so whenever we specify the mode r it means we want to read a file and if file is not present on the disk it will return a null pointer and if we, if the file is present on the disk it will open that file for the reading purpose now the second mode is w so the w means write now here whenever we use a mode w we are telling compiler that we want to open that file for writing purpose and here if the file is not present on the disk it will create a new file for you and it will open that file and if file is present on the disk it will delete that existing file and it will again create a new file and after creating a new file it will it will open it for you now the third mode is a so here a means append now suppose you want to edit the file then we can use this mode called as a a so here a means append and here it is similar to the w if the file is present on the disk it will open that file for editing and if file is not present on the disk it will create a new file for you and after creating a new file it will open it the file now the fourth mode is r plus so here r plus means read plus write which is similar to the r if the file is present on the disk it will open that file for reading plus writing purpose and otherwise if file is not present on the disk it will return a null pointer now the fifth mode is w plus which is again similar to the w here the w plus means write plus read that means we can use this w plus if you want to read and write the file now here this w plus will create a new file if the file is not present on the disk and otherwise if file is present on the disk it will open the file for the reading plus writing purpose now the sixth mode is a plus which is again similar to this a here if the file is present on the disk it will open it for editing and if file is not present on the disk it will create a new file for the editing now this are the modes that we can use for the normal file and suppose if you want to handle a binary file then here we have to just suffix it like b so here these are the mode which we can use with the binary file here we have to just suffix the mode with the b like this so here i am just going to erase this now here we will write a program which will create a new file on the disk so let's see how to use this but before creating a actual program or before writing an actual code we have to know about the file so file contains various information but there is one structure which is associated associated with the file and that structure is contains information about the file or we can simply say that there is one structure which works as a metadata for the file so here this stdio.h provides a structure called as a file so here with the help of this file structure we can play with the file so here we have to use a file and after that we have to declare one pointer of this structure called as a file so here we need one pointer so we have to use star 
f pointer so here f pointer is my pointer of the file structure type now here we have to use the f open function so just use it f open and inside the brackets we have to specify the file name so here i am specifying file name abc.txt so here remember that we have to give an extension of the file that we want to open or that we want to create so here remember that we have to always give the extension to the file now after that we have to specify the mode so here as we have running this program for the first time the file is not exist on the disk so here we need to use a mode like w because w will create a new file for us and after that we have to give a semicolon now this f open function returns a pointer to the newly created file so here we have to assign this f open function to the pointer so just use it like this so here i have given f pointer is equal to f open and into the brackets i have specified a name abc.txt and i have specified a mode w which means write and suppose if this f pointer contains some value that means we have created our file successfully and if this f pointer contains a null value that means the file is not created successfully so here we can use a if else statement to check the status of the file so here we have to use if and inside the brackets we have to specify the expression so here i am using f pointer is equal to equal to null and here i am printing one message like the file is not created and here we have to give one else statement and inside the else i am just printing the file is created like this so here we have used one if else statement to check the status of the file now these else statement will create a new file and will open it for you so after opening the file we need to close the file at the end so here we have to just use f close and inside the brackets we have to specify the pointer so here our pointer is f pointer like this now our code is ready so let's build and run the code to see the output but before running the code we will see the program where where the file will be created or where the file will get stored after creation so here we have not specified a full path so this file will get created where our main program or this file.c program is stored so here i have stored my program on my desktop inside the c programs folder and if you see here there is no any file of abc.txt now we will build and run the code to see the output and here as you can see the output is the file is created like this now we will check the folder again and here as you can see the file of abc.txt is created So here as you can see the file name is abc and the extension of the file is .txt and this file contains no any data because we have not given any data to this file Now here with the help of this f open function we have created one file so here in this program we will see how the r mode works so first of all before using this r i am just deleting my file like this so here the abc.txt is not present 
and here I will use a mode called as R. So let's again build and run the code. Now here at this time we are using mode R. So let's build and run the code to see the output. And here as you can see the output is the file is not created. So this is because the R will not create a new file for you. If the file is present on the disk, it will just open the file for you. And if file is not present on the disk, it will return a null pointer. That means it will return a null pointer. And because of this, this message it's get printed on the screen. So in this way, we can create a new file or in this way, we can use a fopen function. So here in fopen function, we have to specify the file name with the extension. And after that, we have to specify the mode and if we are using the mode w it will create a new file if file is not present on the disk and if the file is present it will delete that file and it will again create a new file for you and if we used a mode r then it will open the existing file and if the file is not present then it will not create a file for you so in this way we can use a f open function and in this video, we learn that how to use a fopen function. And in the next video, we will see the next part.